Hi guys, it's Maaike. I'm back with Use Your Stash. It's number four, minimal supplies. <laughs> I didn't know what to call it. Um, uh, here's the card that I made anyway. I've used uh, label paper. This is from Herma and it's removable. And I have two kinds. This is the A4, the whole sheet. So I have to cut it to card size. Now there is a little lip for the release paper on the back. So it always confuses me where I have to cut it. And you will see it's a little bit skinnier than my card, I would say. That means the other one should be bigger. Well, I didn't check, you know, because it was already on there. And I have this stamp in my stash that is from Card Deco. But any silhouette stamp will do, of course. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, empty. Uh, I'm tracing the shape kind of so I know what size hole I need to rip. It turned out a little bit bigger because um, the release paper is divided. So it tore a way too neat and straight edge that I didn't want to. I started by just making a snip and then I can start ripping, which is very really satisfying. And it's just random, of course, you know, you can go by the line a little bit, but it doesn't end up like that. I thought, yeah, it needs to be a little bit more random and then it didn't turn out random at all. It went straight. So I wrote a bit more and <laughs> made bigger. <laughs> and for me, this eats up the white space or the empty space. And um, yeah, and it probably still considered clean and simple until I put the sentiment on. Because now there's even less white space or empty space as we call it. But yeah, I'm moving release paper and uh, little bits and then sticking on this sticker. And there's all the kinds of masking paper that you might have, of course. This is the only one that doesn't rip my DCP paper. My uh, digital copy paper, digital printing paper, whatever. It's coated, so it's very fickle. But so nice and smooth. You can even use your Copics on it or alcohol markers. But I tend to use them for ink blending, which is what I'm going to do with Distress Inks. And I have uh, Spun Sugar, Wilted Violet and Villainous Poison. Villainous, I don't know, the new one. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was uh, ink blending and I thought, hmm, I think my um, pencil is smudging the ink. So I was looking for my eraser there. <coughs> Sorry. And um, I want the darkest on the bottom, just so that it looks like there's, yeah. A bottom I guess to it so that my uh, cage I probably should have added a line I might do that still with a fine liner so my cage is actually hanging instead of standing might be better and yeah well just ink blending and I'm going over the sponge sugar in the end with some wilted violet or combination with this because I use one purple blender um, because I thought I would even out the colors a little bit and pull it all together and it did and you can use any color that you have of course and any inks that you have it doesn't really matter M memento dye inks any kind will work and this is the shimmer spritz sparkle version and it's almost empty so you see I have to pump it a few times to <laughs> fill up that nozzle I thought it would be nice shimmer. And once it's empty, it will be gone forever, I guess. I, I think I ordered it from Summer System. So I'm not sure if I can get it over here, but mm, we'll see. Doesn't matter. It's not important. You can make your own, by the way, if you use a mini mister with some water and uh, perfect pearls, if you want. And um, the, I heat set it off camera. And then I'm deciding where to put my stamp and sentiment. And this is sentiment is from Woodware, in case you're interested. I'm not sure if it's still available because it's use your stash. Uh, all type messages it's called because it has that typewriter feel to it and the smudges to go with it as well. And the cage is from Card Deco, which I think is a Dutch brand, but again, 
whatever you have. Yeah, you can even use a die cut if you have it. Um, but this now it's a, it's a one layer card, or as we call it in AAA cards challenges, it's a no layer. Because the one layer sometimes confuses people. <laughs> it's no. This is no layer, or one layer, or if you would. Um, people thought a mat would be fine with a one layer, and they, you know, <laughs> nope. But um, that does, it's okay. I mean, it's not clean and simple as I like anyway. Um, but maybe if I put the little sentiment, I was looking for something that says uh, happy birthday. I couldn't find it quickly enough. So <laughs> happy birthday just on top of the cage would leave more white space. So that's a nice trick. And of course, if you photograph it before you put the sentiment on, it's even better. But it's not, I didn't make it for the AA cards challenges, but just uh, my take on clean and simple. No embellishments except for the shimmer spits. <laughs> and uh, yeah, card deco and woodware in this case, no layer card. I hope you enjoyed it. Really simple, quick card. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.